Okay, today we're going to be unboxing the Panasonic Lumix G Vario 7 to 14 millimeter f4.0, a spherical ultra wide angle lens. This lens is made for the micro four third system, and it says on the package made in Japan. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, the first thing that we find inside is a cover. It looks like a pouch with the word Lumix on it. I'll look at that in a minute. Next thing we find is the manual. And finally, the lens itself. Nicely packaged bubble wrap and also some protective fabric. And there we go. There's our lens. The word Lumix on it. It has covers for the rear and the front. And as you can see it has a extended element in the front that sticks out beyond the body of the lens and that's protected by this built-in lens hood that is uh, non-removable. So let's take a look at the lens up close here. Uh, first thing we notice is that it has markings for the the amount of zoom so it ranges from 7 millimeters up to 14 millimeters and then we have a focus ring near that the they both feel uh, slightly rubbery although the zoom portion feels more rubbery than the other than the focus ring and we have a small indicator here to give us the orientation to fit it on our camera body. Here in detail it gives the model number made in Japan and that it's for a micro four third system. On the lens front it says G Vario 1 to 4, 7 to 14, a spherical, and the word Lumix. And somewhere on the body we should find the serial number. There's the serial number etched in this small ring next to the mount. Okay, one thing we'll notice here is that inside there's terminals, electronic terminals, that connect to your camera body that transmit data back and forth between the lens and the camera detailing information such as focus and how wide or narrow your wide angle is. One thing you'll notice with this lens is that as you can see, there is no optical image stabilization provided. In fact, there's no image stabilization provided whatsoever. 
although this may not be as important with a wide angle as it would be with the telephoto. Now let's take a look at the pouch. This provides some amount of protection for the lens, although it's not for rugged use. It would just be for protecting the lens from scratches mainly, but it is a nice pouch. It has several layers and it feels like a microfiber interior. Uh, let's see how well it fits in here. Very nice. Okay, and also we have the manual. It talks about lens care, about condensation. It gives you the supplied accessories. Tells you how to attach and detach the lens. And attach and detach the lens hood cover. Gives you the names and functions of the components and cautions for use. Finally, the specifications and a limited warranty in various languages and for various parts of the world. As a comparison, let's take a look at the Lumix G1 with installed lens this is the 14 to 45 millimeter. Remove this lens and compare it in size to the wide angle. Just for the sake of size comparison, I'm going to remove the covers, set them side by side, and see what we think. They're almost identical in size. Almost the same diameter. And as far as length is concerned, without the lens hood, the two would be nearly a match. So when you're using it, other than the fact that you can't remove the lens hood, so your length is a little longer than the 14 to 45, it's still about the same lens in size and weight. The 14 to 45 is slightly lighter in weight. So there you have it. Comparison of the two lenses. And the next step is to mount our new lens on our camera body. Match up our marks, twist on, and we're done. This is what it would look like in use. Slightly longer with the lens hood on, but otherwise nearly identical in size to the standard lens 14 to 45. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you for watching.